Hey guys, welcome to another video with me, a little pink, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I personalize my Photoshop. And this is what my Photoshop CS6 looks like when you first get it. I think this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna remove that one because I don't really use it. And I have the channels, layers, and path right here. And I'm gonna put the styles up over there. I have the swatches and the color adjustment as well. And then I'm going to move the adjustments at the side because I don't use it that much and we have the properties of the adjustments and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna extend I'm extending the I'm making the styles and swatches um, larger because I want to see the whole selection and stuff and I'm gonna make it equal to the layers you can see what I'm doing yes Alright, so to add tabs, we're gonna go Windows and check anything that you like in here. Anything that will be useful to you. In my case, that will be... No, that's not it. That would be characters. Yes, the characters and paragraphs so I could edit my text. So next, I'm gonna show you something that I get asked a lot. So I'm gonna open a random canvas right over here. So your background, this one, is black. You're gonna go right click and you change it to whatever color and then check I always check custom color and you go right click select custom color then you could select from your swatches or whatever you like and I suggest you go for muted colors you could go pastel or maybe neon but muted colors are awesome as well. so yeah, I'm showing you different color selections you could do. Awesome. So next, we're gonna change the preview font preview sizes. The one at the side. So I had a struggle looking for this for a really long time because I couldn't find it in Photoshop C6, but it's on type, font preview size, and it's here. And this is what it looks like with none. No preview, duh. And this is what it looks like with small. And... Uh, yeah then next this is what it looks like at medium and I put it on large because I my eyesight is really terrible so next you're gonna go edit preferences and then you're gonna select general or you could just go control K anyway I suggest you go through everything one by one just so you could um, Personalize everything to your liking, to your preference. Duh. So you're gonna go to interface, not file handling interface, and then this is the this is the color theme of your Photoshop, and I prefer to put it on black, so I didn't change it. But you can put it on white, which is really cool actually that you can personalize this stuff. And then this is the background color that I showed you earlier, and I just put it all on custom and. It's all in line, but you can put it in drop shadow and you can see that your canvas will be will be in a drop shadow kind of um, effect. And I kind of like it in line, so it's in line. The next one I'm going to show you is the transparency color, which is, this is my current transpar transparency color. And I'm going to change it to match my background, so I'm changing it to blue. And what else? That's the only one I changed because I already like the others. And in the units and rulers, I will make sure that they're all in pixels. And as I've told you earlier, you should go through all of these one by one by yourself and change it to however you like them. But those are the only things that I changed because I'm quite satisfied with how everything turned out. And yeah, that's basically what you do. And this, this part is for the treaty and I haven't used the treaty yet so let's see about that and this is what the um, pixels look like the PNG if it's transparent this is what your canvas will look like if it's transparent after we change it all in the preference so yeah that's basically it thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you want to see in the next video subscribe for videos every friday and check out my previous videos if you're interested i do photoshop tutorials pc personalizations vlogs and sims 4 videos so bye guys